Hi everyone. So I thought I'd do another get ready with me using something a little bit different. Um, I have not talked about these yet on my channel, but I've had them for a while and I'm getting to the point where I want to decide if I want to make a purchase. So it's Meow Cosmetics and what I'm going to use today is the Flawless which is their full coverage mineral uh, foundation. And the shade I have is Inquisitive Angora. So these samples are $1 if I recall correctly. And I got a whole bunch of them in the different shades. And what's really neat is they have something like 80 something shades that you can purchase. And they're all very specific undertones. So I wore this yesterday after I took off something that was not looking good on my face. I think it was the Flush um, Thick Stick foundation stick. It just it wasn't it wasn't looking great. So I I was kind of shocked at how full coverage it was. I don't think I had used this one before. I'm quite sure I used the Pampered one, which is like the medium coverage. They have a light, medium, and full coverage uh, formula with all their different colors. So because of the way my skin is, buffing is so likely to show um, dryness or start settling into my pores. So I find even though, you know, mineral foundations you're supposed to buff around, this one specifically, I've not had great luck buffing. So anyway, I found yesterday that just kind of like tapping it in was giving me the coverage I wanted as well as, um, not enhancing any sort of like texture issues, um, not enhancing that settling into my pores or, um, showing the dry, dry patches. My, spin, my skin's been kind of all over the place. I think the problem is that my, my third baby is not so much He's a different eater than my other two, and um, he likes to eat more at a sitting at three months than either of my previous kids did. So um, because I have a legit milk supply issue where I can only make about 15 ounces a day at most, I think 13 ounces a day at most, um, that means that I don't have much flow, I don't have whatever. And anyway, so I'm like kind of oscillating right on the edge of having enough milk, producing enough milk that I don't have my period or not quite producing enough where I do get my period. So I've had my period once, but it was like a month and a half ago. So I think my body's just like kind of fluctuating hormone wise of like, oh, we're back to normal. We're having a period. Oh, wait, no, no. We're still in that, like, we're producing a lot of milk. We shouldn't get pregnant stage. So not that I'm trying to get pregnant. <laughs> I do not want to give that impression. I am pretty much 100%. I mean, I don't want to say 100%, but I'm 99% sure Jack is our last. Uh-uh going from three to four babies would be a pretty huge step because we absolutely would have to buy a new car. Um, right now we can do three across in our uh, Subaru Forester. It's like we had to buy new car seats in order to get three across because it's pretty narrow back there. Um, but we can do it. This formula is not as easy to apply as something like Bare Minerals, the original foundation, which I do own. And I can lighten because Meow Cosmetics also has a white um, mineral foundation mixer. So I use that with my mineral foundations that are too dark. I also have the MAC um, mineral, loose mineral foundation, which is also too dark. So I'm gonna try also um, putting this under my eyes. They do have a mineral under eye concealer, which I am intrigued to try. I hope there isn't an eyeshadow on this brush. <laughs> and I think it's like a creamier formula than the mineral foundation. All right, I think that's it. 
So if you want to see how it's looking close, see how it looks under my eye. Just this. Yeah, it feels kind of dry. I did not, I don't think I put any eye cream on, so that's probably why. So overall, I would say it's looking pretty good. It definitely looks very light. So the Angora uh, undertone is just pure yellow. It doesn't have peachy or beigey colors to it, as I recall. I'm just gonna do what I've been doing lately, which is um, just eyebrows and mascara for the eyes because I am still waiting out this dermatitis flare up. I don't want to put anything on there that might irritate it until it is definitely back to normal, which it is not quite there. It still feels kind of rough. The texture is kind of sandpapery, so definitely, I mean, it kind of feels like eczema, which I haven't had eczema in, uh, since I was a kid. So I think maybe it was like a, maybe a contact dermatitis type reaction, but I have no idea what it was that I did. Um, all I can figure is I had like some face skincare uh, that I got in my eyelid accidentally and um, it just freaked out because I don't think it was anything that I like used on my eyes because it was only one eyelid and I, <laughs> I don't, you know, ever just put something only on one eye. So, and I wasn't testing out anything new like that. So I'm using the Hourglass uh, Arch Pencil, which is what I've been using a lot lately. It's just fast and um, the color is nice. It was in my recent uh, monthly, well not monthly, my like favorites for mm, June. Yeah, it must have been June since we're in July. So I will link that video in case you're curious. Eyebrows are my least favorite part of doing my makeup, but they make such a big impact that I really, uh, I'm always trying different things and trying to, you know, refine exactly what I want them to look like, what shape I want. You know, I'm always working on them. My brows are like a never ending project. So it's, it's, I'm still within like a couple weeks of dyeing them, so they're still fairly visible in the grand scheme of things, which makes doing them so much easier. And for brow gel, I have been loving this e.l.f. brow gel. I saw it on Some Girl Jess on her channel, and it's the uh, Beautifully Bare Tinted or brow tint, something like that. And this one is in medium. And it's nice and dark, because a lot of times in order to get this kind of depth, you have to get the darker shades. And what I also really like is that it's more of a tint, tint as opposed to adding a ton of volume, because I find the, the ones that add a lot of vo volume can get a little clumpy. And um, I really like that this just adds some dimension because it's darker than the color I use of a pencil in most cases. And it has pretty good hold, surprisingly. I don't know if it's because it's like a thinner texture or what, but it actually keeps my droopy brow hairs from like hanging down into my crease, which is a major pet peeve of mine. And I find it difficult to find a brow gel that really will keep them from moving like that. I will say my face feels a little dry with this uh, Meow Cosmetics Mineral Powder on it. So it, I may do like some Fix Plus or something after I do my blush and highlight. Yesterday when I wore this, I did put on some bronzer as well because I felt like it was looking too white. I think maybe I applied less today. 
Um, I will also say is I've been having some issues where I feel like the undertone of my foundation looks really wonky. Um, on my chin and I think it's because there's been more redness in my chin lately and I don't wear enough coverage to really cover it so it will really show if the undertone is not like very yellow on me so but then like this doesn't match me exactly so then I was having issues where I wore it more heavy, heavy co coverage yesterday and it just looked strange See, I don't know if you can see. It looks kind of pink, like, compared to my hands. I feel like because there's too much white or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to use this uh, Ciate Summer Love. Um, I don't know if they say what the name of this blush is. I don't think that they have any... I think this is all they have. So I bought this because um, Taylor, uh, the Taylor, it was like her favorite blush. And she was using it all the time. I'm like, well, she's fair. And I do love a shimmery blush. I never liked it in the brushes I was using. So I decided to use a more dense brush like she uses for blush and kind of stamp it on. Um, and this is an e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I don't remember what brush she uses for blush, but it's something kind of similar. So this kind of brush would be difficult with um, anything that had much pigmentation to it, but I feel like it's a good uh, fit for that blush in particular because you know, like my regular brushes, I felt like I was just getting the golden sheen and I wasn't getting much of the actual blush color, but that way it like really picks up the blush well, so. Just a thought if you've been struggling with that blush as well. Let's do another Taylor favorite, though she likes the other color of this. This is the Physician's Formula Warm Note Nude, and she uses the one that's not the Warm Nude, like Natural Nude or just Nude, something like that. So I'm using these colors. And enjoying that kind of C shape versus just strictly on the tops of the cheekbones lately. I may have mentioned this in another video. I can't remember. I know I said it in another video, but whether I edited it out, that's what I don't know. Because a lot of times, because I talk too much, I have to take out pretty significant chunks of me rambling. And I really like that kind of swirling circular motion. Um, to blend it out. That also has been working for me lately. Then I'm just going into the, the lightest shade to do my nose. I'm going to go ahead and do a little Fix Plus. I would use my Too Faced uh, Hangover RX spray, but that one's downstairs. So I'll use Fix Plus instead. Oh. <laughs> I focus more on my cheeks because my cheeks are drier than the rest of my face. Okay, so now I think that's going to be quite glowy. All right, I'm going to put on mascara and lipstick and then I'm going to be done because this is, this is pretty much all I've been wearing lately since I can't do eye makeup and I have two new eye palettes I'm really excited to use. One of them is um, Manny MUA's new line, Lunar Beauty, his Life's a Drag palette. I've seen so many good reviews on it and it looked like a, it was just like a fun color selection because you had like um, a whole section of neutrals and then a section of fun colors. And I think there's a purple in there. I'm excited. I'm excited to use that out. And I also bought the Boxy Charm from June that had the um, Reina something or other palette. The one that um, Kathleen Lights is, I think, friends with uh, the owner of that cosmetics line. And um, really pretty colors in that eye palette, so I'm excited to use that too. All right, I'm going to use this Ofra, which came in the Boxy Charm bo um, box. And the shade is Verona. Really 
gorgeous formula on this. It's more brown <laughs> than I'm expecting. But this wears so nice, super minimal transfer. Uh, it doesn't feel super dry or sticky. Really pigmented. I can get many, many hours of wear. It still looks pretty good after eating because it's a fairly, you know, natural-ish shade. So even if a little bit wears off in the center, it's not super obvious. Just a really easy formula to work with. This is obviously their old packaging. They have just uh, repackaged everything, kind of rebranded. And uh, some of their liquid lipsticks are still available um, in the old packaging and you can get them for a really good discount. So a lot of the Ofra stuff has been on sale because they are releasing their new packaging. So this is my finished look using the Meow Cosmetics Inquisitive Angora um, in the Flawless uh, line. And I will include some information about how it wears throughout the day. Yesterday when I wore it, it was only for about maybe five or six hours and it looked good, though it did look a little heavy. I went a little heavier coverage yesterday. But I also had like bronzer on and I had more stuff on my face. And so I'm not sure if I could really say what the wear felt like. After I use Fix Plus, my face definitely feels a little bit less dry and tight on my cheeks, um, which are more dry because I didn't use extra moisturizer on my cheeks today or any sort of like moisturizing primer. My face, like I said, my face has suddenly gotten drier again, so it's very confusing to try to figure out like what skincare I need to use. Today I use the Paula's Choice Skin Recovery uh, Daily Moisturizing Lotion SPF 30 everywhere, even on my nose, which often I will use the Paula's Choice Resist um, when I have any oil production happening, but the Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense, but my skin has been so like out of balance in the past like week or so. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. It's really rather strange. I don't know what's happening to my face. Um, I think once I'm done, well, once, yeah, whatever, whatever. It will get back to normal at some point in at least a year or so, um, once I'm done nursing and whatnot. So anyway, I'm going to go. Let me know if you have any questions about the stuff I used today or, you know, life in general. <laughs> I love talking with you guys. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Leave a comment, a like, subscribing. All that stuff really means a lot to me and it helps out my channel. So I really do appreciate it. And thank you to all the new subscribers that I've been getting lately. That is so awesome. Let me know if you ever have a thought of something that you'd like to see me review or swatch, that kind of thing. I would love to do that. Also, let me know if you want to continue seeing foundation videos from me. That's something that I really enjoy doing, but I also feel like sometimes I like kind of overwhelm my channel with foundation based content and maybe not everybody's here just for foundation stuff. So let me know how you feel about foundation videos. I am so happy to make them and test out new products and all that stuff and share it with you guys. Um, but if you have some ideas of other kind of videos you'd like to see from me, also please let me know because sometimes I struggle to figure out what am I even going to do, you know? So I love hearing what you guys want to see. So I think that's everything. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. I hope I'm sort of in the middle of the light back here. I probably should be a little further over. <laughs> issues, man, issues.